So Ubisoft, bless their little hearts, are doing everything they can to get people to like them again. They pumped the brakes a bit on the open world sandbox spam, even if a few stinkers like Skull and Bones got through the cracks, and they're doing their best to get franchises like Assassin's Creed back on track, even if it's a really slow and awkward process. And frankly, Star Wars Outlaws seemed like they were going down the right path, an open world multi-planet Star Wars game set during the original trilogy era and developed by Massive Entertainment, who previously made The Division 2, which I think is a rather upper tier Ubisoft sandbox. As far as Ubisoft developers go, Massive Entertainment, I think, was one of the best ones that they had for a game like this. They were a great choice for this project. It really seemed like Ubisoft was onto something with this at first, but then I guess they remembered that they're Ubisoft as opposed to a publisher that actually gives a hoot about literally anything people care about these days. And it was recently confirmed that Star Wars Outlaws is going to require an internet connection to install the game from a physical disc. An offline single player game will require an internet connection to access the content on the physical disc you already paid for. So why is this a bad thing? Just in case you're completely out of the loop as to why this is a brain dead thing for Ubisoft to do. Well, from a very basic consumer standpoint, you have the inherent contradiction of this being a physical product carrying a single player game, literally not being capable of providing the content that you paid for. Like at a very basic level here, we have a physical game disc with a single player game on it, but for reasons reasons completely unexplained, you cannot access that content on said disk without hooking up to the internet first so it can download a bunch of updates instead of just letting you have the content on the disk unaltered. That segues into the second reason this is stupid, which is the fact that this offline single player mode is now firewalling you from playing it without letting it call daddy Ubisoft first, meaning that this basically confirms there's going to be a big fat day one patch, which doesn't exactly bode well for the stability of the game as a whole, because if there wasn't going to be a big day one patch, then you'd be able to just rip the content right off the disc like a normal installation, but Ubisoft is literally not allowing that, so I think that's what the kids call a red flag. But you may be saying to yourself, or to me down in the comments, Joe, this isn't a, this isn't the first single player game ever to require an online connection to install the content on the disc. It's not literally the first time this has ever happened, to which I would respond to you, yeah, you're right, and that doesn't make it okay. Just because someone shot a dude in the face three weeks ago doesn't mean it's now morally okay for you to shoot a different dude in the face. Which brings me to the third main point as to why this is the worst thing that Ubisoft could have possibly done here, and that's this. Game preservation is a very important topic nowadays, and when you require the internet to add something onto the disc version of the game, and when you introduce an internet firewall between the consumer and their physical product, to the point that you literally cannot start the game without hooking it up to the internet, it suggests that proper, physical, objective preservation of Star Wars Outlaws is going to be virtually impossible. And it also means that Ubisoft has the ability now to basically just deactivate physical copies of this game. Are they going to do that? I don't know. But it is now an option for them to do, and that is wrong. Regardless of whether or not this game is good, this is not something that should be normalized. Imagine if this were a book or a DVD. You buy it at the store, but before you can sit down in your comfy chair and read it or put it in your DVD player to watch it, you have to go online to make sure the publisher didn't want to change it. The product is literally in your hand, but you can't use it without additional permission from the company that you already paid to put the product in your hand. And the product has no actual online component to it, so there is literally no practical reason for this other than just giving the company who sold it to you more control over what happens with the product that you already paid for and took ownership of. And before you say something like, um, actually, Joe, it requires internet to install just because of the pre-order bonuses and the updates, it's not a big deal. Yeah, that's not an excuse. I'm old enough to remember when lots of single player games had pre-order bonuses and bonus content that you had to go online to obtain, but you know what happened if you didn't go online to obtain that bonus content? You just didn't get the bonus content. You know what's worse than not getting the bonus content? 
not getting the entire fucking game. If we don't call this shit out now, it's going to spread. And if it spreads, then game preservation as we know it will literally cease to exist. But naturally, it's 2024, and a bunch of absolute brainlets on Twitter started loudly proclaiming to everyone that the gamers are just getting mad at nothing, and that Ubisoft did nothing wrong, and boo-hoo, stop criticizing the giant corporation or else I'm going to pee everywhere. How dare the gamers criticize the giant corporation. God, like, I'm, I'm actually heated about this one. This is actually, fuck, this is actually fucking pissing me off. I didn't think Ubisoft had blind defenders like this, but apparently they do. Or perhaps it's the Star Wars logo on the box that's doing it. Whatever the reason is, let's make fun of some absolute fucking brainlets together, shall we? And yes, if you are in this video, take offense to it. Be better than this. Holy fuck. D's game says, can someone explain to me why so many people are raging at Star Wars outlaws needing an internet connection to be installed you're using the internet to complain about it on twitter an app that you use 25 hours a day eight days a week it's 2024 why is this a problem yeah i gotta tell you but bringing up an unrelated thing is not really a good defense to your point Oh, uh, why are people using the internet to complain about a game requiring the internet? Well, for starters, using the internet to talk to people on the internet is the internet working as intended, dear boy. Using the internet to get through an unnecessary firewall on an offline single player is not the internet working as intended, dear boy. You see the difference there? This is like if I put a phone in your car, like a wired landline phone, I hooked it up to your dashboard, and then I programmed your car so that it wouldn't actually start unless you called someone on the phone first. And I didn't tell you that I was going to do this before you bought the car. Obviously, this is a really stupid thing to put in a car, so you call your buddy on your cell phone, and you're like, man, can you believe what this idiot Joe did? He hooked a phone up to my car, that's so stupid. But then your buddy responds, bro, you're using using a phone to call me, so it's obviously not a problem, stop complaining. That is quite literally the argument you're making here in defense of Star Wars Outlaws. If you think my version of your argument sounds stupid, that's because it is. It's really, really stupid. Someone responds to D's nuts and says, the issue for me is that it is intrusive. What if the internet were down? Why should I have to be always connected? Is it an MMO? I have no interest in letting them know how frequently and when I'm playing the game. D's game says, it's an offline game which needs a connection for updates like literally every other game. Offline needs connection. Offline needs connection. The problem is right in front of you. Another person responds to D's Nuts. He says, guess people would just like the game to be installed from the disc. Crazy concept. And D's Nuts says, buy games that are that way then. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. You think it's stupid for people to complain about the game requiring internet to install. But when confronted with reasons why people disagree with your opinion, your response is to basically just tell them to vote with their wallet and not buy games that do this. But the whole reason you made this initial post was because you're upset that people are potentially voting with their wallet in a way that you don't agree with. Like, the vote with your wallet argument really doesn't work when we're only talking about this because you are mad that people are voting with their wallet. You don't get to dismiss someone's explanation by telling them to vote with their wallet when the only reason they're even here is because you're mad that people are voting with their wallet. Also, holy Christ, your hair is ugly as shit. One last response to D's nuts. Someone says, I think it's about the game preservation collection thing. Single player games should not be internet dependent except for fix slash patches. In my honest opinion, I'm also not a fan of this move unless it's a live service or multiplayer game. And D's nuts says, it's not internet dependent. It's just for the install and updates like any game these days. Okay, it's not internet dependent. It just needs internet for the install. It's not internet dependent because it needs internet for the install which happens before anything else the game is not internet dependent even though it needs internet to begin its existence you might actually be the dumbest person i've ever put in one of these videos i'm not even jesting right now you might actually be the dumbest person i've ever seen holy oh wow Moving on, Demeve responds to this initial post announcing the news. He says there is absolutely no reason for single player games to require downloads, only even if you buy a disc. 
Clarith responds, disc not big enough, need different method of delivery. Yes, because it's impossible to put a game on multiple discs. That's never been done before. Also, file compression is just way too hard these days, right? We have to make all of our games 5 million gigabytes. Crazy idea. Um, if Ubisoft isn't interested in making a disc-based game, maybe they shouldn't sell you a disc-based game, especially when that disc-based game isn't actually a disc-based game. If you want this game to be digital only, Ubisoft, just fucking make it digital only. This is so stupid. Andre says if someone owns a PS5 but complains because they don't have the internet in 2024. Bro, I'd like, I'd repeat the whole fucking car phone point a second time, but I just don't think you would get it. You bought a PS5. You bought a PS5 game disc, but now the game disc is telling you you're not allowed to use it unless you connect to the internet, which is a variable that was never part of this equation for a single player game on that game disc. This is just one step closer to getting rid of physical media altogether, and if you think that's not something to be concerned about, then you haven't been paying enough attention to the industry and what the major players in this industry are willing to do if you don't hold them accountable. That digital-only, you-will-own-nothing future benefits corporations and corporations only. Why do you think they want it? Physical media is a way to prevent that future from happening and retain your rights as a consumer. And now, Ubisoft is attempting to slither in and take that away from you while disguising that slithering as being the thing that you want. Which makes the whole thing even scummier than it would be otherwise. And as I've said a million times, there's literally no reason for this because we're talking about an offline single player game. Installing an offline single player game from a game disc has literally never been a problem since the beginning of single player game discs. Like, we can disagree about the severity of the issue, and we can disagree about how much of an issue this actually is to you, but we can't just deny why it's an issue in the first place. Now this person says, I love it. I actually think you should have to go through a gauntlet just to buy the disc. Boy, oh boy, I hope it requires a Ubisoft account. I love when games become unplayable. It's the most awesome thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the other thing. That's what that's what I'm saying about preservation. The game requires an internet connection to install it. So if Ubisoft so chooses, they could just stop offering the online services required to install the content on the game disc, meaning Ubisoft has the power to completely block you from accessing the content on a physical game disc you already bought. That should never, ever be possible for an offline single player game. Never. End of story. You people in this thread are just willingly giving up your rights as a consumer. It's so weird. Cerebral Paul says, pretty true for most, if not all games nowadays. And then Ferdinand Bacon beats me to it. He says, no, not really. And just links to doesitplay.org, which is a fantastic tool, by the way, if you're trying to keep up with stuff like this. But basically, Cere Cerebral Paul here is a fucking moron. Like, wholeheartedly, he's wrong. The vast, vast, vast majority of physical single-player games do not do this. Even with the state of AAA gaming being as stupid as it is today, if you go to a store and buy a game disc for an offline single player game, you should be able to put it in your console and play it without using the internet at any point. Because in case you didn't notice, the internet was completely not involved with the transaction there. It's one thing to have an online requirement to download a game, because obviously you need the internet to download a game, but installing it from a disc? No. You can obtain the game disc without ever using the internet. Just walk into the store and buy it. Why are so many of you so okay with the internet being shoved into a place where it literally is not required to be for reasons other than just to make your experience more fragmented and make a larger piece of your hobby controlled by a corporation who doesn't care about you? Fucking stick up for yourself, or at the very least, don't get pissed at me for sticking up for you on your behalf. Jesus Christ. I can't wait for the people to comment on this video and be like, geez, Joe, why are you so mad about this? Why aren't you? Like, what? Matt B says, don't you need internet to download games on PS5 and Xbox? Installing and downloading are not the same thing. One requires internet, one does not. Please read the post you're responding to before you respond to it, thanks. Joey says, cue in the whiny people who are connected to the internet 25-8. 
God, you guys really need to ditch this argument. It literally doesn't work, but you just can't handle people criticizing corporations for some reason, so you're whipping out this stupid argument anyways. <laughs> I'm so clever because I'm pointing out that people are using the internet to complain about the internet. Yeah, bro, if someone kicks you in the mouth, it sure would be hilarious if you then used your mouth to complain about it, wouldn't it? That'd be, that'd be hysterical. Why are you using your mouth to whine about the state of your bleeding mouth that was just kicked? You idiot, stop complaining, consume the product. DRIV responds to the news and says, see, this is what I was afraid of. I buy physical copies under the assumption publishers or stores can't take them away from me, but that's becoming less and less true, isn't it? And Danitur responds, so tell me, when was the last time you downloaded a game without internet? Because I remember even in the early 2010s, you needed internet to download. Do people genuinely not know the difference between download and install? Like seriously? Also, if you can only remember back to the early 2010s in terms of needing internet to download something, like how the fuck were you downloading things before the early 2010s? Was there some kind of black magic offline downloading ability in 2005 I was unaware of? Or are you just fucking illiterate like everyone else on this dog shit app? Ugh, one more, No Limit Gaming says, internet required to install the game, not play the game like Destiny or kill the Justice League. This happens in every game. You download the game and it installs the release update for said game. Every fucking game, lol. Yeah, you're, you're right. This offline single player game is exactly the same as Destiny and kill the Justice League. Like, how did you write this unironically? How were those the two games that you picked to make your point? Those are potentially two of the worst possible games you could have picked. I swear, you only, I, you, you people only started gaming 10 minutes ago. Like internet was never a requirement for installing content off of a fucking game disc. Literally never has been a requirement because that is not how game discs work. Ubisoft adding internet as a requirement for an offline single player game serves one simple purpose. It is to make sure you don't actually own your game. They want more control over how you interact with their products, even though it's a product that is meant to be enjoyed in the solidarity of your own home with no internet required. And like I said, the side effect of that is that proper preservation of this game is going to get really murky, all because Ubisoft doesn't want you to own your games, even if it's a physical game disc that you're holding in your stupid little hands. I usually try to give you guys the information and then let you make your own decisions, or at least I try to be like that. I don't, I, I try not to tell you what and what not to do with your own money. I just try to give you the information you need to make an informed decision. But this is going to be a case where I say, do not buy this game. Do not encourage this. There will be more Star Wars games. And it's not like this game isn't going to be in the bargain bin in a matter of weeks anyways. It's a fucking Ubisoft game. Fuck me, I, I was actually kind of excited for this game too. And it's not like I'm short on games to play, so you know what, Ubisoft, if you don't respect me, I'm not giving you my money. I'm not obligated to and no one else is either. Toodles.